All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Fiona's Secret. This is chapter eight. This is dating. Chapter eight, dating. We are going to go on a date with Fiona. Our dreams have come true. We're actually going to go on a date with Fiona. Yesterday, we took the opportunity to ask Fiona out on a date, and she said yes. Can't wait. Super excited to see Fiona. This is going to be amazing. Good morning, Fiona. I hope you're ready for our date. It's going to be so much fun. Hello, Tongue Tide. I've been waiting to hear from you. So what is your plan for today? Oh, let me tell you. Let's go for a walk. Let's grab some coffee. Let's meet in the park. Is it meeting in a park and going for a walk the same thing, kind of? Should we grab some coffee? Get the morning started off right with a, with a cup of coffee? Does Fiona like coffee? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know enough about her. <laughs> Do we want to meet in the park, though? Maybe. Meet in the park. You can do all kinds of things after you meet in the park. You can go get coffee. You can go for a walk. Let's meet in the park. From there, we can do whatever we want. Good idea. See you soon. Look at that. She likes the, she likes the idea of, of the park. Oh, beautiful. You tell Fiona that you, uh, that you meet in the park. Yes. I love it. Love the outfit. Finally, the time has come. You meet with Fiona. I plan to be late. Hell no. I think I should be on time. I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to show up at all. <laughs> That's terrible. We're going to stand up, Fiona. Not in your wildest dreams would we stand up, Fiona. Look, we're going to be on time. I'm not going to be late. There's no such thing as being fashionably late. That's a, that's a silly idea. <laughs> I, even though I tend to be late sometimes during live streams, that's, that's because I'm fashionable. <laughs> Things happen sometimes. Hello, Tongue Tide. Nice to see you. Yes, Fiona, it's nice to see you too. I've been looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. I'm glad you're here, Fiona. How are you? What's up? How do you feel? How, how are you? To be honest, I'm a bit nervous. We've never just met the two of us before. So without the others. It's kind of weird. I hope you feel comfortable with me. I've been excited all day long. Well, I like it. We should do it more often. Ooh. I like the bottom two responses, the middle and the bottom. I've been I've been excited all day long. It's like or or well, I like it. We should we should do this more often. We should meet like this more often. Both of them are good. Look, I'm going to say I like it. We should meet more often. I I, I think that's a good response. So far, I like it quite well. Fiona laughs. Seriously, I was really looking forward to today. Me too! <laughs> I love when, when I actually just respond and then the, the, the actual text response comes up and it's the exact same thing that I said. <laughs> no way, me too. Uh, we have been studying together for over a year now and we've never talked to each other uh, this intense. I actually know so little about you. I thought we were all like really good friends. Are we just not that close of friends that I thought? We can change that. I'd like to get to know you better too. I like to be mysterious. Nah, I mean, if you guys, if anybody knows me, I'm not that mysterious, right? <laughs> I, I, it's not that I enjoy being mysterious. Like, I mean, I mean, you guys know me. You, you, you know Tongue Tide. Tongue Tide's not mysterious in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> um, but in this context, I actually know this. Let, let's get to know each other better. I'd like to get to know you. I'd like to get to know Fiona a little bit better as well. I want to find out more about you. What interests do you have? What do you like to do? <clears throat> I'm into sports. My hobby is photography. I prefer to cook when I have time. I'm going to go with I'm into sports. That's most likely me other than the other two. That's cool. I really like that too. Maybe we should do this together sometime. A hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. I would love to. I would love to be, to be able to sport with you. 
Maybe you can show me something next week. Yeah, what do you, what do you want to see? Now you know something about me. Tell me something about that, about you. What do you like? Now it's your turn. What? Uh, all right, so tell me something about you. You know something about me? Tell me about you. I started baking. Wait, I'll show you a photo of my latest masterpiece. Oh, look at that. That is my absolute weakness. Baked goods. Like, bakery. Like, anytime I go to the grocery store to get food, I always walk past the bakery aisle, and I just get stuck. And I just want to buy everything. That is my absolute weakness, is baked goods. Love it. Absolutely love it. Cool wrap-up. Uh, I, I like it when belonging to... <laughs> That's terrible. I like it. Women belong in the kitchen. <laughs> no. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. Look, it looks delicious. <laughs> Thanks, but I prefer to be on a journey. I love to travel and explore new countries. To get to know people and their culture, it's so exciting. Right? That, that does sound fun. It's true, I like to travel more often too. I'm not particularly interested in that. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I've only been to a, I haven't been to a lot of places. It's not to say that I don't like to, it's just not a thing that I do all the time. I just haven't either had the opportunity or I just don't, don't yeah i i think it's probably more so the opportunity like i, I definitely <laughs> definitely don't have the money just to travel everywhere i want to go right um but i just don't necessarily have the opportunity i don't have the time to be able to just up and go somewhere like i just don't so um i'd like to travel more often that would be yeah I, so I, I, that that makes sense that makes sense Do you want to see some pictures from my last trip? I absolutely. Yes, please. Finish show you some pictures. Is that railroad track? It's a, I don't know, some type of monkey, baboon, orangutan, some, some type of monkey. I don't know what kind of monkey it is. If you're watching this, let me know what kind of monkey that is in the in the chat, because I have no idea. Is that a, is that a baboon? I don't know. That looks cool. I like that. All the colors. That that's cool. I would like to see that. Orta. Is there anything else? Where is this? Is this like Spain maybe, with all the colors, all the cool colors like that? I have no idea. I don't know. Chat, let me know. Let me know if you were, if you know where that is. And palm trees with a rail railroad. Don't I mean that's looks like the tropics, but I have no idea. Or a tropical area with the palm trees. And then the chimpanzee, ape. No, it's not an ape, but chimpanzee, monkey, baboon. I don't know. <laughs> oh, where is that? Where where is that? That was a couple of months ago. I traveled through Southeast Asia. Very fascinating. Oh, okay. So Southeast Asia. Cool. Very cool. Do you have any pictures of yourself? <laughs> I don't like Asia. That's not my... Who would pick that? Who would pick that? It's terrible. Terrible. I'm, I'm not picking that. <laughs> Do you have any pictures of yourself? I don't care if that loses the game for me. I'm asking. <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh, shows you some pictures of herself. Perfect. Why would anybody pick the other thing? <laughs> Here's some pictures of Fiona. Let's see where we got. Is Southeast Asia as well? I love the outfit. Not the best shoes. I mean, it looks like you're in an area where you're hiking. Probably not the best shoes for hiking. Should maybe do more like you know, hiking boots or sneakers or something. I mean, high heels, hiking over this rough terrain is probably not the best footwear, but outfit's on point. Outfit's nice. Scenery's nice. Beautiful. 
All right. Out on the beach. All right. All right. Got nothing against the, the footwear here. <laughs> Looks nice. Very cool. I love it. I particularly like the photos uh, you are on. You look beautiful. Uh, you're really talented. What's what's talented about this? I mean, <laughs> she did unless she set the the camera up to do a like th like a, a like you set the camera up for a timer and then the timer goes off and takes your picture. I'm not sure how she's talented in this setting, other than somebody else took this picture. Maybe she edited it. Maybe she did the editing of the picture. Then yeah, I could see how that would be talented. I could see how it would be talented if she set it up and had like a timer on the camera that took a picture. Like like if there if she was the only one there, otherwise somebody else is taking these pictures of her. But if she's the only one there and she's taking the pictures of herself, yeah, it's talented. Particularly like the photos that you're on. Look, I'm going to go, oh, but do we do we throw out the whole beautiful stuff? I'm throwing out the beautiful stuff. Like you look beautiful. And she does. She does. It's 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 not a lie. Thank you, tongue tied. It means a lot to me. You know, I really like you a lot. That's oh, you and Fiona look at each other intensely in the eyes for a few moments. Nobody says anything. You're not gonna say anything? What do you think about that? Well, let me tell you what I'm thinking about. I don't know what to say. I'm a bit confused. No idea. I don't like any of these responses. <laughs> <laughs> we were just looking into each other's eyes intensely. She really likes me a lot, but I what am I supposed to say? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say, I guess. Is something wrong? No, I'm having the time of my life. I have to ask you something. What happened between you and Nick? I remember that you had a thing with Nick. It won't work because you messed around with Nick. Why are we bringing this up on our first date? <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my goodness. I don't, we're, we're about to ruin the date. We, it was going perfect. It was going perfect. Now we're about to ruin the date. Tongue tied's getting stuck in the friend zone yet again. <laughs> oh, let's go with what happened between you and Nick. Let's go ahead and ruin the date. Just terrible you think there was anything fiona's angry of course she's angry I, I knew she was gonna be angry nick was pretty clear i just thought so i don't want to throw scarlet under the bus look i i'm just I, look i just thought so it's just intuition it's none of your damn business yep fiona is really angry now but you finally want to know what's the status isn't it true? Just tell me what happened. I need to know. Look. Ah. I don't know. Isn't it true? It, we just ruined the date. That's so upsetting. Can't believe we ruined it. Stop it. You have no idea. Fiona looks at you with tears in her eyes and suddenly starts crying. What's wrong? I'm so sorry. Can I help you? Why are you crying? Look, what's wrong? I guess. We, we were having such a great time and we just had to go and ruin it. I can't talk about it. You give Fiona a hug. She's probably going to push me. No matter what it is, I'm there. Look, no matter what it is, Fiona, I'm there for you. We got we got to reassure her, I guess. Nick. Oh. Nick hit her. Oh, I'm you know what? Nick can stay gone. Like Nick can 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 stay disappeared after that. No excuse. Can't believe he did that. Oh, God, I never thought about this. You got to be kidding me. I, I never thought about this. Never thought he, he did that. Nick can stay gone now. You believe me, Tongue Tied? Yes, I, I, I do. I, I, you know what? I, I'm going to believe you. I'm here for you. I know I can count on you. I, I Oh, I hope Fiona's not lying. <laughs> I hope Fiona's not lying. I can't believe he did such a thing. That lousy wife beater. I mean, they're not they're not married, so I can't wear really say he's a wife beater, but he's a woman beater. You could say a lazy woman beater. Uh, if he shows up, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> uh, look, I can't believe he did such a thing. No, because that's gonna. I, I feel like if I do that, it's not like a, 
it's not like a, a comment. I they're not gonna take this comment in this game as in like as in a disbelief, like uh, like oh man, I can't believe he did that. Like it's crazy. I, I you know like he did it, but I can't believe it. Like they're not gonna take they're gonna take that as if like if I say that Fiona's gonna get pissed. So look maybe look look if he shows up again, I'll kick his ass. Like that's that's what we'll do. But he but he can just stay he he can just stay gone. Tongue tied, please calm down. He hit you. I was I was so wrong. We were friends. I could kill him. <laughs> Look, Fiona talks to Scarlet and tells Scarlet what what I say, so I can't say that. But Fiona, he hit you. Like there's no excuse for it. Fiona starts crying again. Oh no. We have to do something. Have you been to the police station? Does anyone else know about it? Look, have you been to the police station? You need to report it. You need to report this. I can't talk about it. I'm so scared. Fiona looks up at you. You feel so close to her. You gently grab her face. Are we getting ready to kiss? Are we getting ready? <laughs> you finally kiss her. This girl is sobbing. She is crying uncontrollably because Nick hit her and she's talking about it, which is very emotional for her. And while she's crying and sobbing uncontrollably, we go ahead and just plant one right on her. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kiss her. Fiona gets, uh, Fiona gently returns the kiss. Okay, that's good. I suppose that's good. She presses against you, and your kisses become more passionate. But suddenly, you get doubts and push Fiona away from you. Why? What the hell's wrong with you, tongue-tied? I don't know if this is right. I don't want to take advantage of the situation. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, you say... See, this is where I don't understand. Like, he says... The, the comment is, I don't want to take advantage of the situation. But you kind of already did. <laughs> Look, we'll, we'll just say I'm sorry. We'll see what happens. Look at me tongue-tied. Everything is good. I want it too. That's why I like you so. You are so caring. Oh, okay. All right, we're good. We're good. I want to stand by you, Fiona. You're very important to me. I will protect. Look, I'll protect you, Fiona. Fiona smiles and cuddles with you. Aren't, aren't we, like, out in the park? Like, <laughs> I just we're, like, out in the park, crying, making out, cuddling. <laughs> are there people walking around? Little kids looking at us like, what the hell is going on, Mom? Like... <laughs> What are they doing over there? Why is she crying and kissing at the same time? <laughs> Fiona smiles and cuddles with you. And now, now they're cuddling. Like, uh, How did that happen with Nick? Please tell me what happened. How could that happen? So please, I don't know. Please tell me what happened. Let's talk about it again. Let's start crying again. In the beginning, he was very charming. I really liked him. Okay. I really thought things could work out with us, but he was so aggressive sometimes. That checks out. Sounds sounds about right. He just freaked out if something didn't fit him. He was so jealous against you, too. I told him one time how well I could talk to you. I never knew that I did anything wrong. He screamed and called me names out of nowhere. I accepted everything. After all, I was in love, but it didn't stop there. At some point, he got physically violent. Fiona starts crying hard again. You hold her in your arms. He threatened me, but kept telling me it was only because he cared so much about me because he loves me. That's toxic. That is toxic. That is terrible. Nick, I mean, if this is all true, Nick is a terrible person. <laughs> he deserves to get the shit beat out of him, like, for real. Uh, that is terrible. Now, obviously, just so everybody understands, this is the Nick in the game, not the Nick in real life. Like, Whoever Nick is in real life is probably a, a great guy. Nick in the game. <laughs> Deserves to get the shit beat out of him. <laughs> I was so scared, so I didn't tell anyone, but I tried to tried to avoid him. That, I mean, that's terrible. That's so toxic. What a terrible person. I didn't notice anything. I should have been there for you. I'm so sorry you weren't able to tell this to anybody. If I had only noticed something. Look, I, I'm sorry you couldn't tell anybody. Like, that's terrible. Like, she didn't feel safe enough to tell anybody. She was she felt scared to tell anybody because of what Nick would do. The whole situation's just effed up. You couldn't have known no one knew anything, although Scarlet, she knows the story. 
Oh, that's what Scarlet couldn't tell us. And I think I remember Scarlet saying they got physical with each other. But I think at the time we were thinking physical in this, like the the brown chicka wow wow type. Like, <laughs> I think we were thinking physical, like like under the sheets party type physical. I I would never thought physical as in like he struck her physical. Not at the time, but I obviously we do now. But um, wow, so that's what Scarlet kind of meant. She uh, should have told me. She didn't mention anything. Weren't you going to do something about that? Look, she she didn't mention anything about it. So she definitely had, you know, had your back with that, Fiona. She kept your secret. She kept your secret. She was very nice to me. I've been thinking about going to the police, but then he disappeared, and I was just glad it was over. On the uh, one hand, I'm relieved. On the other hand, I'm also worried about what happened to him. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all anymore, and I'm probably not going to try to help find him with Patrick. I'm going to probably tell Patrick, be like, yo, Patrick, this is what happened, Patrick. Like, Nick's a jerk, and wherever he is, is he can just stay there. Like, no big deal. We're probably better off without him. <laughs> oh, so worried about what happened to him. I understand. His disappearance is really strange. If he shows up again, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> you know, you know, if, if Nick shows up from being disappeared, I'm going to make him disappear again. <laughs> if he shows up from his disappearance, I'm going to make him disappear. Um, Yeah, but his disappearance is strange. Maybe Scarlet had something to do with it. Maybe Scarlet's the drama. We'll definitely find out where he is. Patrick said the police is already looking out for him. Maybe you should tell the police what happened. Maybe you should tell the police what happened. That probably not a bad idea, Fiona. I just need some time to rest and think about what I should do. Thanks, tongue tied. I'm glad I told you. Now I'm really exhausted. Then I guess we should say goodbye. I'm also glad you told me. Take your time. Then I'll see you soon. Yeah, then I'll see you soon. I like that. It was really nice being with you. Thank you. Fiona grabs you and gives you a long goodbye kiss. Out making out in the park again. <laughs> there we go. Last night you and Fiona got very close. You can't wait to see her again, but you got a message. But it's not from Fiona. It looks like the message is going to be from Scarlet, and it looks like she might not be very happy. As you can see in the top, the title of this chapter is Rage. Tongue tied, get in there, damn it. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Um, so, yes, the next chapter is going to be chapter nine, Rage. And as you know, as you can see, we are going to be talking with Scarlet. Um, she already started off with tongue tied, get in there, damn it. <laughs> so, something's getting ready to happen. There's going to be some kind of rage. Hope you guys are enjoying Fiona's secret just as much as I am. If you are, Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think um, happened to Nick? And what is, like, what do you think about Nick now? Like, what a jerk. He's super toxic. He's just a terrible person. And do you believe Fiona about what Nick did? I, at this point in time, believe Fiona. But I have nothing else to go based off of. So, until something else comes about, if something else comes about, I've got, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to believe Fiona until until something else is, you know, until there's more information. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.